Good morning, everybody. My name is Barry Schwartz, and this is the Search Buzz video recap. Today is Friday, December 10th, and this is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at seroundtable.com over the past week. Lots to discuss. We have a deeper analysis of the Google product reviews update. As I said, it's lit. Um, Google may have rolled out over the past week a local search ranking update. It might be related to the core update. It might be related to a change in the uh, Google uh, Map local pack. Um, Google has also rolled out a new top stories layout. Google ads had another spending bug and so much more. So definitely stay tuned. And of course, I'd like to thank our sponsor, SEMrush. Thank you so much for sponsoring. Deeply appreciate it. Um, check them out at scmrush.com. They are a beloved SEO tool set by the community. And uh, just check them out. Okay, so like I said, the Google product reviews update from December 1st, still rolling out. Um, it seemed like it was pretty lit, meaning the past three, four days after it launched, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc., it was literally um, shaking things up in the tracking tools. The chatter was there, but it wasn't as significant as a core update because core updates are much wider and broader uh, than product reviews update. Product reviews only impact, generally only impact sites that do product reviews and that content, although it seems to have somewhat of a wider impact beyond that but not as wide as the core updates. That being said, the tools are really spiking um, and have spiked since then. In fact, so they started to spike not really on the first when it was announced, but they spiked on the second and then third, fourth, fifth, sixth, kind of dropped a little bit down on the sixth, seventh and eighth, and then spiking again now. We seem to have another tremor, um, as we call it, on um, yesterday, the ninth, and today, the tenth, which seems to be pretty hot. So. There definitely seems to be some things going on with that. I also did a deeper analysis at Surge Engine Land. Check it out, Surge Engine Land, where I do analysis that was with data provided from SEMrush and from Rank Ranger. So definitely check them out. It's really pretty interesting to look at how this update, the December product reviews update, compared to the April product reviews update. Um, it seems like, based on everything, that the December one was much more significant than the April one. Like I said, we may have also had a local search ranking algorithm update by Google. Uh, that local update <clears throat> seemed to have happened over the past, I think, month or so, probably since around, approximately around the November core update. Now, only SEOs have been starting talking about it now, uh, local SEOs. And those local SEOs are saying for the past 10 days or the past week or so, they've been noticing ranking changes. If you look at the Bright Local tool, it seems like the Bright Local tool has really kind of spiked even a week before um, the core update from November 17th. Um, so it really started around November 10th. But again, that Bright Local tool, Bright Local tool may have some issues. Not exactly sure. It's one of the few tools, I think the only tool that really tracks, well, there's other ones, but this is one free public tool that tracks the fluctuations directly in the local results, Google local pack and maps. Um, but Bright Local looked at the data and they said, yeah, it's legit. We actually are seeing significant changes um, and so forth. My question is, and I'll get into that a little bit later, is was it as a UI change or was it a ranking algorithm of change or was it related to the core update? Um, we don't know yet. I know um, Joy Hawkins asked Danny Sullivan, um, was it a local update or anything like that? And we're waiting to hear back from Danny. We will see. Um, talking about that local update, Google has officially confirmed that it's starting to roll out a new local pack design for searches near me on desktop. So if you search for like coffee shops near me, um, instead of having the map pack at the top and the local results below, you are now getting the local results at the top and the map pack or the map result image at the top right. So you have the local on the left and the maps on the right. And maybe because of that, I'm thinking, uh, local SEO saying, hey, I'm noticing more traffic to my site because the local results are maybe higher on the page and a lot of people are actually maybe clicking on those local results. I'm not sure, but the past week's chatter, like I talked about before, was that not necessarily a local, a local ranking change, but more about I'm noticing more leads from local results. Um, so maybe it's a combination of both, I'm not sure, um, but there definitely is a lot of chatter about this and a lot of people are actually seeing um, the local map pack change, and Google has confirmed with us yesterday that this is actually happening. To make things even worse on tracking these updates, if you are a Google News, in your Google News and your Google News publisher, um, Google Search Console's performance report was updated as of December 9th to 
uh, be more accurate. So the performance report specifically for Google News, if you're a Google News publisher, you have a special report in the Google Search Console under performance report for Google News. Um, that report has been updated for accuracy purposes, which means, according to Google, you may see a drop in impressions starting on December 9th, which we don't have data for yet, so I can't really look at it, um, going forward. Now, with the product reviews update, and you let's say you're a wire cutter from the New York Times, you may see significant changes um, there, and you may, may not be able to understand if it's a product reviews update or if it's just an update to how Google um, actually um, up tracks that in Google Search Console. Anyway, that's why you have to use third-party tools as well to track this stuff. It makes things a little bit easier uh, when you have these types of updates from Google. So again, Google Search Console performance report for Google News has been updated going forward as of December 9th. Also, Google has released a new top stories news carousel layout. Now, again, now you have this Google News performance report change where you're tracking impressions and clicks and all that may have changed. You have the product reviews update. You have the new map pack. And now you have this new top stories layout, which also may impact the news traffic you're getting to your website because they're using a whole new layout, which is a pretty cool layout. I like it. But that new layout may have impacted um, your clicks uh, from Google Search Console, I mean from Google Search, and thus impact the imp impressions and tracking, but mostly the tracking and clicking from that uh, Google Search Console report. Anyway, lots of things changing if you're a news publisher. Um, definitely take a look at that. That is rolling out as well, and Google told, confirmed that with us the other day, um, and you should probably see that for some queries. Um, Google is testing a new suggested clips video layout for feature snippets. So instead of the video being at the top and the description of the suggested clips being at the bottom, um, what you're having now is Google's testing these video on the left-hand side in a smaller frame, and then the, the actual text of the suggested clip on the right-hand side of that video. Um, so I guess there's more space up and down uh, for more search results. Bing announced that they have a new way of searching for local stores. Um, you can search for local store inventory, you can search for local stores hours and reviews and so forth. Um, it seems like a pretty basic local feature, but it's actually rolling out for Bing now. The way to get your local inventory into this Bing local search free results, again, this is posted on the Google, I'm sorry, on the Bing organic blog, not the Google Microsoft advertising blog, is to have local inventory ads. So it's kind of the seed, I hate when Google, Google or Microsoft do this, where they basically announce a new feature, and the only way to get into that new feature is to pay for ads. And that's what my, uh, Microsoft Bing confirmed with me, is that to show inventory in the local results, you have to actually have uh, Microsoft advertising local inventory ads, or a flavor of that. Uh, Google Safe Search um, has a new design for, or new notice, if, if you're searching for something that may drive Google to say, hey, you may see explicit results. So if you're searching for pornography, I guess, uh, Google will put up a notice for some, sometimes basically saying, um, if you want to filter out these explicit results, make sure to turn on safe search. That's new. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because um, I spotted a Googler, Cario, basically, basically saying that um, somebody basically, uh, servers.com is a website that's been around for a long time, changed domain names from multiple times. Google flagged that under the safe search filter, meaning that Google said this site is a adult-oriented website. Um, the person who owned that website went into the Google forum and said, um, why, am I, why am I under safe search? And Google's like basically like, I'll look into it. A month later, Google said, all right, you're no longer in safe search. So I guess if you do buy a domain name, which Google says do not buy a domain name that was ever flagged in the safe search because it take a while for Google to reclassify that site as not being um, adult-oriented, um, if you report it, Google could actually remove that classification in about a month if you do it in the forums, I guess. That's one case of it, at least. Uh, Google described um, basically how to handle if an author changes his or her name. So maybe you're under a pseudonym, like I used to write under the name, pseudonym Rusty Brick, um, and now I'm going to go under, Rust, uh, under Barry Schwartz. Uh, that was years and years ago. So, uh, Or if you are changing names, let's say you have a ch legal name change, or whatever, for whatever reason it might be. Google said, if you're going to do that, John Mueller said, basically, change your name consistently throughout wherever you can. So if it's on your own blog, change the name dynamically so that every single post that you've written now has a new byline of your new name. If you were written on third-party sites, ask them to change it for you. And it should be fairly easy. Usually, the author name is pulled from a database record, so hopefully that'll be pretty quick and easy for Google to pick up on. Uh, Google said it's not important at all for SEO purposes to include the category or topic name um, in the URL slug. Google said it was important before. Now, basically, Google said it is a uh, factor they look at. It's not an important factor, but Google's saying it's not important at all. 
basically is at zero importance. Google's um, podcast, uh, Search Off the Record podcast this week what came out, and it was John Mueller and Martin Split. Gary, I guess, took a break. Hope Gary, you're doing well. Um, and they had two guests on that show. Uh, one you may remember from, named Zineb, if pronouncing that right. She used to work on the Google uh, um, Webmaster Trends team with John and friends. And also on that call was um, Bruno Cartoni. Um, and Zineb is working on inclusive stuff and Bruno's working on language stuff. And they basically talk about how Google handles inclusive language in search. Bottom line, it handles it automatically. It figures it out, just like it figures out any, anything new on the internet. Google Ads had another spending bug. This time, it happened with uh, TROAS and maximum conversion value. There's another spending bug. So Google said, if you were impacted by this, you'll see in the upcoming weeks, I think three weeks or so, a credit on your account automatically. So just keep that in mind. Um, Google is now showing, for some uh, local packs results, two ads above the local packs. We used to only see one ad. Now Google's showing up to two ads on the local pack. Google Ads image extensions are now coming to desktop. Um, basically, it only was on mobile where if you wanted to include images in your ads, the image extension only worked for mobile. Now it works for desktop as well. And with that, Google also released some new features um, around um, stock images and as for, for image extensions as well as dynamic image extensions for any language, not just for English. So keep that in mind. Uh, Google Ads has also updated their custom columns design to give you a brand new design with that, including some new metrics and support for, for functions. Google Ads also released um, a new policy around election and political ads that are changing in 2022. First, in January, you're gonna have to go ahead and verify um, your Google Ads account not using a W9, you need to use other methods. And two is they're ending election ad exemptions and they're also adding new election ad serving options. So definitely take a look at that if you are in the ad space with elections and political ads. Uh, Google Ads experiments no longer require you to have uh, draft campaigns in order to run an experiment. You can run them without actually having the draft campaigns going forward. Microsoft Advertising Bing, um, Bing search, those Bing search ads have four new attributes. They had 32 attributes previously, now they have 36. The four new attributes are Asian-owned, Latin-owned, women-owned, and diabetic-friendly. So if you want to add that to your um, advertising um, Bing ads, you could go ahead and do that. Um, this is interesting, a blast in the past. Alexa.com, not the Amazon voice assistant, but the tracking tool or the website measurement tool that basically gave you like some type of Alexa score. Um, it's going away. They're shutting it down in May of 2022. Um, it used to be like the way people talked about DA today or page rank of the old days. Basically, oh, my Alexa ranking went up. That means my Google ranking is going to go up. It used to be the way people used to talk back in the early 2000s. Um, and it's kind of funny to see that go away. Uh, but it's good. It's a good thing. It also confuses people between Alexa, the voice assistant, and Alexa.com, the measurement. And it's owned by Amazon. It's one of these products has been around for like 25 plus years, and it's going away. And finally, Google released their 2021 year in search, the top search results. If you want to take a look at that, I posted that this week. Uh, or just go to the Google Trends website, and it should have a link to the top tr uh, trends for 2021. Any event, thank you so much for listening to the Search Buzz video recap. My name again is Barry Schwartz. This is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at seroundtable.com over the past week. Any feedback or ways to improve this, definitely let me know in the comments below. Everyone have a great weekend. Make sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends to subscribe. My, um, again, thanks to our sponsor, SEMrush, for sponsoring. Deeply, deeply appreciate it. Everyone have a great, safe, healthy weekend. See you guys next. Goodbye.